What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So today we are going to be assembling the D16. I went ahead and I threw it in the porch area because of the fact that it is raining outside. Look how the sky is up there. Alright, so I got the fan right here and before I clean everything out one one more time the reason I'm doing it is just in case there's any particles or anything like that so it gets rid of it um, before I do that though I'm gonna come in here with the scotch bright and clean all these surfaces up and on the other side also we gotta get all this nice and clean. That way when I spray it with the uh, brake cleaner, it gets rid of it. I know this is kind of bad on light right now, but basically I'm gonna clean this whole surface right here. And this whole surface, just scuff it off with the scratch bright. All right, so I went ahead and I got everything as clean as possible all around, all over the place. I did the other side over here also, this whole thing. I went ahead and I did this. This is where the oil pan sits. And what I'm gonna do right now, I also did this right here. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and spray some brake cleaner I'm gonna open up this door, turn on the fan, spray the brake cleaner, and try to get all this as clean as possible. So the engine is nice and clean now, as you guys can see. I got everything set up on the table right here. And a few gaskets. And I think I'm ready to start assembling the short block. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys um, some of the information that I know. I've been messing with these engines for a long time. So I don't wanna make the video too long, but I'm gonna give you everything, every little information that you guys need to put one of these together. 
So if this video does get a little bit too long, I will break it down into two or three uh, different videos. So this is officially going to be part one of it. So you guys can have the whole process and at least all the important stuff that you guys got to do. If there's anything that you guys feel that I might have missed, please feel free to comment below. So I'm going to go ahead and install my block guard right now. Um, basically, it prevents the cylinders from rocking back and forth um, at high RPM. If you don't have one of these, it could crack a sleeve. And that's something you definitely don't want. There's also some cons against having this. One of the cons is that if you install this, you're going to slightly move your sleeves over a little bit. You might not see it, but it will happen. That's the reason why I do not install these with a motor that's already assembled. So as you guys can see, it doesn't just drop in there. You got to force it slightly in. You got to find the right spot where it locks in. Right there. So I'm going to use this mallet that I have to slightly tap it in. As you guys can see, it's already pretty much in. Just tap it all around. So I went ahead and I grabbed a screwdriver and I wrapped it in this paper towel like this and I took it to each one of the little holes and I pounded it down using the mallet there is a webbing under here and it doesn't allow the block guard to drop any further so that's how far it went down I went ahead and I checked it. I used a digital caliper to check my measurements to make sure that it was even all the way around. I used the bottom of it like that. And I got that reading right there. So I know for a fact that it's completely leveled right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hone each one of these cylinders using this right here. Um, there is a better one that they sell and it's got like individual like balls all around which is a really nice one to use but I don't have the funds for that so this is what I ended up getting so basically what I'm gonna do like I said is hone out each one of these cylinders clean it out and then we're gonna go ahead and put our piston rings in and take some measurements all right so I went ahead and I attached my honing tool to the drill this is a house drill that I found laying around that I'm gonna be using. When you guys do this, you guys gotta make sure that the cylinder, do one cylinder at a time. Make sure that your cylinder is nice and looped up. You can use WD-40, you can use uh, 5W-30, uh, PB blaster, transmission fluid. I don't care what you guys use. Just make sure that you guys use some kind of lubricant when you guys go in there to start drilling so I'm gonna get a flashlight light it up in here so you guys can see the before 
then I'm gonna go ahead, go in with this. When I go in, I'm gonna make sure that I go in, in and out, in and out, in and out, and stop and the, the, the tool, and then pull it out, because then you're gonna create scratches on the inside. So make sure you go all the way out. So this is what it looks like in there. Before, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. And yes, this is the crappy tool, like I said before, but it is gonna work. And that's all I care about. I'm about to throw you guys on a time lapse. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, it's very handy to have a bucket like this. And yeah, this, this holding tool does work. It does get the job done, like I said before. That's all we, we really want. So don't be scared to do this. I used to freak out about stuff like this back like 10, 12 years ago, but not anymore. It's, it's pretty simple and it gets it done. When you guys go in, make sure you guys go in and you're all lubed up and then go, go to the right and then go to the left. So reverse it on the drill. That way you get the cross hatch on each cylinder. All right, so let me wipe this down and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here it is. It's all honed out. I got a beautiful finish on here. This is definitely going to help out with the seating of the of the rings on the pistons. And also it takes all the deglazing off. As you guys can see, we are ready to move forward onto measuring the piston rings. All right, so I don't know how long this uh, video is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it right here. And this will conclude part one of the D16 reassembly. And I'm gonna continue right now recording and I will start on part two for you guys. So when you guys are probably watching this, this video's already done. So, catch you guys later. Peace out. Stay safe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and catch you guys later. Peace.